So really it's going to simplify the uh, jobs of DBAs and, and DBT users. Um, can you yeah. give us uh, some examples of how uh, things are going to be simpler? Absolutely, sure. There's quite a few uh, um, changes that are going to make things simpler to configure, but, but one of my favorites is the new instance memory control. In previous releases of DB2, there was no really easy way to control and keep track of the total amount of memory that an instance of DB2 was consuming. You could control key database memory consumers, like the buffer pool, and the sort, but there was no overall memory control that accounted for everything, including all of the private process memory that's consumed by each DB2 agent. Of course, the reason for this was that uh, we had the, the previous process-based architecture. Well, now with the threaded architecture, all of the DB2 tasks are threads within a single address space. So it's quite uh, easy for us to provide this overall control. So in the next release of DB2, you'll have a single configuration parameter, which you can use to control how much memory a, a, a DB2 instance is using in aggregate, including all of that database memory as well as the private process memory. You can set this, uh, this parameter to a certain fixed limit, in which case our self-tuning memory manager algorithm will automatically determine the optimal balance of memory amongst the major uh, subsystems while staying within that uh, specified envelope. Or you can set it to the keyword automatic, in which case we will we'll play nice with the operating system, taking memory and returning memory to and from the operating system in order to optimize system performance while ensuring as well that uh, the operating system has enough free memory to do its job. Now that's just one of the, uh, of the improvements that you'll see with threading. There's a number of other ones. In general, you'll see a number of other configuration parameters either becoming redundant or being uh, automatically tuned uh, for you. All right, that, uh, that sounds terrific. Um, can't, can't wait to try it out myself. Um, now, since this is a very fairly significant change, I'm wondering, does it impact uh, applications that you currently have if you're moving up to Wiper 2? Absolutely not. It's, a, uh, it's an internal change that will not affect applications at all. And uh, in fact, it's, it's largely transparent even from an administration perspective. I guess one of the changes that you might expect uh, after, after listening to some of the previous uh, comments I've made is that you know, you, when you use the operating system uh, commands to look at uh, the processes running on the system, you'll see uh, only one process as opposed to uh, several. So that is one sort of administrative change that you might expect from a DBA's perspective. And of course, as you might expect, we're going to provide you some uh, a command through the DB2 PD capability to actually see all of the, the threads going on uh, uh, within a, an instance of DB2. So you'll be able to do that. But largely from an administration perspective and certainly from an application uh, programming perspective, this is a transparent change. Oh, that's fantastic. Great to hear. Um, before. Uh, letting you go, one last question. Which platforms are impacted by, by this change? The, 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 the platforms that are impacted by the change are all of our Unix platforms as well as our Linux platforms. This, uh, this architecture is something that we've had actually on the Windows platform uh, for some time. So the architecture, the change that we're talking about here is really a, applicable only to the Unix and, uh, and Linux platforms. So all these uh, award-winning benchmarks and things that we have on Unix and Linux we can expect to get those, you know, see those getting even better. Absolutely. Right? That's, that sounds great. Thank you very much for uh, talking to us, Matt. Uh, you're very welcome.